Yes, the transmission's perfect. Oil pan looks great. How are you, radiator? You're lovely. Let's check out the front end. Whoa, ho, oh, oh. ho. Bumper's completely gone. The headlights are gone. Well, who am I kidding? The whole front end is gone. The state of this Camaro should tell you one thing. The most terrifying television series this country has ever produced has almost reached its conclusion. In this, our ultimate episode, the three people who still remain in our rehabilitation center will participate in three final driving challenges, including shuttling me around town in a sports car. When it's all said and done, we will have one final ceremony which will be conducted in the most formal manner possible. Then, someone will receive this unwanted trophy and the even more unwanted title, Canada's worst driver ever. The three finalists for the embarrassing title, Canada's worst driver ever, are Sly. A stay-at-home dad from Red Deer, Alberta, who rarely gets behind the wheel without food in his hands. When will the rain stop? I don't know. Sly was nominated by his brother-in-law, Fred. Sly still eats and drinks while he drives. Next, there's a recent transplant to Burnaby, British Columbia. Kevin. Kevin can't see all the traffic. Holy Because he's blind in his right eye because there's an ambulance coming. Oh. Kevin was brought to us by Lenny, his boyfriend. He's made a vow to me that if he does not graduate this season or if the panel says stop driving, he will stop driving altogether and cut up his license. And the final Canada's Worst Driver Ever nominee is Michael from Vancouver Island. Whoa, what happened? Michael is joined in rehab by his best friend, Eric. Keep your hand away from the key. Have you been lucky enough in your life to ever drive a 1960 Lincoln Premier? For their first challenge in our final episode here on Canada's Worst Driver Ever, the nominees will get to handle this classic, beautiful automobile. Will it still be beautiful and classic when they're done? Probably not. If that kind of thing upsets you, you should address your cards and letters to Blair Ricard. He's the producer of this show. Don't write to me, I just work here. To pass the opening challenge of our final episode, go. The nominees start by reversing down this straightaway. When that's done, they continue reversing around a three-turn slalom. Well, that's not fast enough. Then they shift into drive and head back to the beginning. All of this must be accomplished in less than a minute without hitting anything. Woo! Time! I did it. In 54 seconds. Now, can Canada's worst drivers ever do it? Sly can't do it, according to Fred. He'll crash long, long before he gets to the end of the straightaway. Go! If Sly had his arm around the passenger seat and was looking out the back window like we've taught him, he probably wouldn't crash. But... Oh! He doesn't do that. Oh, oh freak. freak. So much for the pristine vehicle. Drivers will get 10 chances to pass this challenge cleanly. And on Sly's second attempt, he wants to use his side mirrors, but he hasn't set them. How's that? Oh, that's better. Unfortunately, it doesn't help him drive better. Put your arm around Michael and look out the back window. That's your best bet for doing a straight line. Okay, reversing. but it's also very painful. This is painful for all of us, Sly. Go whenever you're ready. Using the proper technique, Sly's steering improves. No, oh, he's doing better than I expected. But he starts suddenly speeding. Eek! Eek indeed. Oh, 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 stop! Oh, stop! Oh, stop! Oh, Sorry. Oh, 
that was extraordinarily bad. In uh, today's dollars, when that thing came off the lot, it was worth 100 grand. Wow. This is Sly's fifth attempt. Oh! This is his sixth attempt. Oh, crap. This is his seventh. Oh! 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 And on his eighth attempt, Sly can't even stay on the road. I'm trying to. This turn doesn't turn fast enough. Stupid freaking garbage truck vehicle. Holy fart knockers. Oh, dear. Like, what happened with that one? Like, I, I, did I just lose it? You yes. lost it. Before Sly can go again, the Lincoln's motor needs some TLC. Thanks, Rob. You're the best. This is run number... Nine. Nine. He's only got two left. This one in his final. Will he make it? Will he make it? Oh! 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 oh. oh. No. Holy mother he didn't make it. Mercy on our soul. Oh! The engine doesn't make it either. Motor is done. Done. What do you mean? That's done? a wrap. Motor is done. Holy freak. Sly has one attempt left. But we have to let someone else try. All right, bring on the truck. Michael will drive a Ford F-250. Don't be Canada's worst driver ever, Michael. Michael's immediately off course because he's fixating on his driver's side mirror. I have a lot of practice with this particular technique. Not enough practice, apparently. 40 seconds down, you're hitting stuff. I know that. That's to be expected. I expect people to reverse the way we teach them to. He's not doing the reach round look. Oh, ah, not good. Not good at all. Oh. Maybe Michael is Canada's worst driver ever. Oh, oh I blew that one. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that's awesome. If you reverse the way you've been taught to. Put your arm around the passenger. Put your hand at 12 o'clock on the wheel. Look over your shoulder. You'll pass this challenge. Oh, I understand. I understand that. It's just the technique is so different. It takes a ferocious amount of concentration. Go. When Michael tries reversing correctly, right through. look at that. Right, right through. Out of boy. He's smooth to the slalom section. Nice, <laughs> nice. But on the slalom, Michael inexplicably looks forward and drives off the road, which is an automatic failure. I'm an idiot. Give me the oath of the Blue Lantern. Bring yourself down. In fear-filled days, in raging nights, with strong hearts full, our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars, for hope burns bright. All will be well. Here at the rehab center, in the dark of night, I think we'll finish this challenge, but not without a fight. They're trying their hardest. Come with me, but it'll freak you out. I don't know if he's driving with a gout or if he's got a bad elbow or if he can't see properly, but geez, he drives like a monkey. Last run, I think. You got it, sir. This is indeed your last run. Michael's last shot. Huh? Ends in total failure. I am surprised. I thought Michael was a shoe in for this. Kevin will reverse the way we've taught people, won't he? Won't he? Actually, I'm going to try using my mirror for this first run. I'm ready. Staring at one side mirror didn't work for Michael or Sly. Oh. Ah, shoot. And it's not working for Kevin. On Kevin's second attempt, he can't even drive forward. No. Then again, I do not have this. Oh. His third attempt's a fail. His fourth attempt is worse. Oh. And then he repeatedly drives off the road. And he's in the field again. Kevin's in the field for 18 seconds. But at the end of the run, his overall time 
It's only a minute five, okay? So you're doing good for time if you could just steer better than... A drunken ox. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh, buddy. You might lose your license for the rest of your life. Well, that would be possible for an ox to get, uh, ox to get drunk? Absolutely. It would just take a lot. Being an herbivore, they're very good at breaking down simple sugars like alcohol. On this attempt? Yes. Kevin reverses cleanly. Can he bring her home cleanly? Bring her home, 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 bring her home. Nice! Yes. Yes! 12 seconds to spare, buddy. Whoa! Yay! Kevin's pass means it's Sly's turn again. What? Take your number 10. You only did nine in the other car. Right away. Use May the, the force, force be with Luke. you. I shall be one Use with the force. the force. The only force that's with Sly is the force of impact. Oh! Oh! Ow. Perhaps oh. not. Uh, I think we'll count that a failure. We'll count that as a colossal failure. All right, guys, make a challenge next. I wish you well. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Okay. When we come back, it's our annual... Mega. Mega. Mega Challenge! Blew it, blew it, blew it, blew it, blew it, blew it. After eight episodes of training and testing, it's come down to this. Before driving me in public, the nominees for Canada's worst driver ever have one final challenge they must endure here at our rehab center. This ultimate test is an annual event here, and it involves elements of every single thing we've taught our students. And as always, we call it... The Mega Challenge! The Mega Challenge will be done in our badly battered and bruised sports car. And to think that this is a brand new Camaro, it's unreal. That's our high-speed driving instructor, Philippe Laterno. He's with our therapist, Shamala Kiru, our head driving instructor, Tim Danter, and our legal expert, Cam Woolley. I love the mega challenge. Together, they'll help me decide who is Canada's worst driver ever. The mega challenge starts... Boom, I love starting this car. With a 50K an hour, Slalom of the needle. Wow, I always duck going through the eye of the needle. This is the freakiest thing ever. One, two, oh no. That leads to an icy corner. Slam on the brakes. Look, look where I want to go. Come around, car, come around. Ooh. And that leads to a precision steering section that takes drivers to a concrete area where they have to get turned around in this gate. When I reverse out of the gate, I'm channeled into a reverse precision steering section and then a slow slalom. Pretty easy. And the mega challenge ends with an always exciting reverse flick. Yeah, just like that. My job is fun. Will Sly have fun on the... Mega Challenge. And so the mega challenge begins. Here's Sly. Sly hits the first arch, the first person, and the second person. Sly is looking like Canada's worst driver ever. Ugh. 50, 50, 50, 50. Here we go, here we go. Break. Turn. Oh. Ah. Oh, freak. Wow. Couldn't have done that any worse. Good Lord. Uh, I hate these concrete blocks. Entering the concrete section. Uh. Sly damages the car. Can you help me, please? Nope. And in the reverse section... You gotta steer, though. You gotta steer, though. I am steering. Ah. 
The damage continues. After pushing several rims around for an absurd amount of time, Sly gets out to ask me if I'd move one. That one, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What did you do? Oh, crap. Did you leave that in gear? Oh. I thought it was... Oh, crap. I thought it was in park. If you don't have that common sense, you shouldn't be driving. Freak. Well, let's just get this over with. Sly's entire driving career should be over with. Oh, freak. Oh. Fred wants Sly to give up his car keys forever. I cannot get rid of the keys. I'm not going to do that. When we come back, Kevin and Michael drive our mega challenge course. I had no traction at all. Canada's worst drivers ever are showing off their skills in our final episode. I suck at this. Kevin is the next driver to run the Mega Challenge! That's <laughs> not as good as I can do. I bet that's better than Kevin can do on our tricky Eye of the Slalom. But... Kevin drives this difficult course perfectly. I didn't see that coming. I bet he screws up the icy corner, though. Nice. Turn, 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 turn. Over, over, over. Yes. Okay. okay. Slow, 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 slow. Holy crap. Did I just do that? Wow. Yeah, he made it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. Excellent. What a start. Yeah, buddy, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh. finish this. On the precision steering section, though, Kevin starts hitting. And in the turnaround corral, wacky choice, he starts getting stressed. Oh, he's quivering. When Kevin gets all shaky like this, his driving gets worse at an exponential rate. Mm. No. He's falling apart. Yeah. He sure is. Kevin, come on, man, come on. Darn it. Our motto here at the rehab center is, look where you want to go. But Kevin is looking at the dashboard. Oh, darn it. Kevin started the mega challenge well. Wasn't the picture perfect finish I had hoped for. Nope. More like a nightmare, really. Michael will be the final person to drive the... Mega Challenge! Once more, onto the breach. Mm-hmm. Apparently, our rehab center lessons have been working. Because just like Kevin, Michael drives cleanly through our eye of the slalom. But on the icy corner, he stares at the wall and locks up his brakes. Let go, let go, let go, let go. I did. Oh, oh, he had it and he went back to the brake. On the precision steering section, Michael's getting worked up. Breathe. And you know what that means. In fear-filled days, in raging nights, with strong hearts full, our souls ignite. When all seems lost in the war of light, look to the stars, for hope burns bright. All will be well. All will be well. Oath of the Blue Lantern works every time. Well, some of the time it works, not every time. 
Wow. Didn't work that time at all. In the precision reverse section, Michael's driving is inexcusably bad. Wow. Oh. Aye, yeah. I hope it's in part. What's going on here is sheer lunacy. Agreed. Michael, are you Canada's worst driver ever? No. no. Hey, you know, the show's almost over. Maybe you want to buy a Camaro. She runs lovely. Not looking so hot, though. Blew it, blew it, blew it, blew it, blew it, blew it. Stupid, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. stupid. Michael might be Canada's worst driver ever. I know better than that. Ah, crud. When we come back, Canada's worst drivers ever drive me in public. You're turning what? This is a shiny and perfect Corvette. And Canada's worst drivers ever are going to be handling it with me in the passenger seat on a one-hour tour of Hamilton as their final challenge before we hand out our unwanted title. The first person to drive our Corvette is Michael. Your first direction is to turn right out of the parking lot onto Hunter Street. For this final challenge, I will give basic directions. Your next turn is onto Carolyn Street, and it's a left. It's up to the drivers to see the street signs and make the turns. Well done, sir. Thank you. The left turn at McNabb is a little confusing. Okay. But Michael makes the turn perfectly. I see what you mean about a little confusing. Just when I start thinking Michael may have a flawless drive, he turns left on a red light. Ah, crud. I spotted the red light as I was already turning. Not good at all. No, I'm writing that I know down. That. That's running a red light. Agreed. You are horrible. You suck. <laughs> Perhaps, but I'm still in a Corvette. Both men are correct. Michael is in a Corvette. And he sucks. Dude, what is that? Oh, crud, red light. <laughs> ah, stupid, 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 stupid. Very stupid. Speaking of stupid, we thought it would be smart to see if Canada's worst drivers ever can handle merging onto the highway. This is the part of the drive that I'm sure you understand makes me nervous. Oh, yes, I certainly see why. Michael isn't nervous at all, and he takes the middle lane perfectly. We're going to exit at Aberdeen, okay? Aberdeen Avenue. Lucky for me, the Aberdeen Avenue exit is less than a kilometer away, and Michael merges onto it perfectly. Well done, sir. That's it. That's all the highway driving we wanted to do. And that's basically all the driving we have to do. Hey, look at that. A red light that you stop for. <laughs> I dig it. I also dig the fact that Michael returns us to the starting point in one piece. Amazing. Michael is disappointed by his final drive. I normally pay better attention to the traffic lights. Sly starts well, but his unique shoulder checks are freaking me out. Better. Shoulder check means you look behind you, right? Not at your shoulder. Yeah. Aside from his incomplete shoulder checks, Sly is actually driving perfectly. Sly, you're doing lane changes correctly. You're never getting lost. You're seeing every street coming. You're not hitting the person who's illegally crossing in a wheelchair. That's also good. Sly is good. Getting onto the highway. And getting off the highway. 
Are we going to make it through to the very end of this drive with you having driven flawlessly the entire time? Well, I hope so. Back in season seven, Sly promised that he would stop eating and drinking while driving. But he went back on that promise. Why in the world do they put, like, drink holders and stuff? Unless Sly promises me that he's going to put the food down while driving, I'm going to suggest that he's Canada's worst driver ever. Oh, well, I guess I'm just afraid to promise something that I'm afraid I might break again. I'm not getting out until you promise again. <sighs> I don't know about in terms of the not drinking, because, you know, sometimes I get, you know, quite thirsty and stuff. Pull over. Um, Pull over. Well, okay. Good man. Okay. Sly. <laughs> drove flawlessly today. I drove like normal people drive. When we come back. There's a guy, you're not in the left turn lane. Kevin. Does his city drive? This, uh, Kevin, Kevin. Before we name Canada's worst driver ever, the nominees are taking me on their final challenge. Ah, oh, stupid, 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 stupid. A one hour tour of Hamilton. The last time Kevin drove me in Hamilton, he started a left turn from the right lane. You're not in the turning lane. You're not in the turning lane. That truly terrified me. So yesterday, I told Kevin, if you're turning left, do it from the left lane. Of course, if I'm turning left, turn from the left lane. Today in Hamilton, Kevin's very first turn is a left. And he's in the center lane? Right, Kevin, that was turning left from the center lane. You promised me earlier that you would not do that. Doing that on a residential side street is upsetting, but doing it downtown on a four lane one way is shocking. Are you really turning left from the middle lane? You really are, you really are? You really are. That was not the middle lane. That was not the middle lane? I was in the left lane. What are you talking about? When a boat being towed appears in front of us, Kevin changes lanes without looking or signaling. You're driving in two lanes with no signal. There's a guy behind you, really? Around the next corner, someone else has committed a traffic violation. We got an emergency vehicle on the side of the road. So what do you do? Slow down. Slowing down is half of what you do. You're also legally required to change lanes. Kevin doesn't do that. Oh, oh, serious offense. Wait a minute. Right there. That's $490 fine. Drove right past a stopped emergency vehicle. Very serious offense, big points, and can also mean suspension of a driver's license and even jail on repeated occurrences. Kevin has now pulled into a driveway to turn around. Trying to re-enter the flow of traffic, Kevin botches the maneuver. Hitting the curb in a nice new Corvette. That's not what I intended to do. You don't know where your wheels are still, hey? I know where his wheels are. They're on the white line you're supposed to stop behind. Are you allowed to stop on that white line? No. You're also not allowed to cross a solid lane line. And green lights mean go, not stop. Dude, you're stopped at a green light. Kevin is now missing the McNabb Street turnoff. And now he's missing a red light. You're not really running this red light, are you? No. You're, you're not? What do you mean you're not? Ah, shoot. Where are you, Kevin? I'm in the middle of the intersection. Stopping in the middle of an intersection is Kevin's 13th driving infraction already. When Kevin loops around to try to make the McNabb Street turnoff again, he winds up in the center lane and tries making the left-hand turn from there. You're turning. What? I'm what? There's a bus to your left. You're not in the left lane. And this white line that we're in the middle of right now, what's that, do you think? That white line is separating the left turn lane from the straight ahead lane. Kevin is in the left turn lane, 
but goes straight ahead into no man's land. We got a yellow line on either side of us. Don't get flustered, buddy. Don't get flustered. Hang on. Kevin's next instruction is to turn left on King Street East. And guess which lane he's in when he tries to make that turn. There's a guy there. You're not in the left turn lane. Don't yell right in my ear when I you... I was trying to get you to stop because you just cut that man off. Almighty. Kevin pulls over and calls Lenny. I think I just need to sell the car, right? I thought Lenny was the voice of reason, but... So you want me to continue? Lenny convinces Kevin to hit the road again. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll continue. You sure? Yes. Any more ticketable offenses, Kevin, we're done. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Back on the road, I spend some time seeing what Kevin sees while driving. And it's honestly frightening. Kevin is told to turn left at James Street South. But he wants to do it against a red light. Uh, are you allowed to turn left on a red? There's no sign against it. As Kevin starts turning left, the light becomes green, thankfully. But look at which lane he turns into. Do you know the symbolism of an orange line? Kevin, Kevin, whoa! You're in the oncoming traffic lane. Damn it. The orange line was right to your right. We're done, we're done. You're driving on the wrong side of an orange line. We're done. Get out, please. You're putting on the hazards. We're done. This drive is over. People often ask me if I get afraid when driving with Canada's worst drivers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do. That's it, Kevin. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just don't feel safe driving with you. You understand why, right? I don't give a rat's ass. I know this hurts now, but it's going to be a good news story. How the hell is it going to be a good news story? Because you're not going to get uh, in a traffic accident that's... Shut up. Hello. I'm... I'm done. No, I'm not okay. I, I... I couldn't do it. Barring a miracle. Kevin will be named Canada's worst driver ever. What happened? I've lost my license, my car, everything <laughs> when we come back Kevin might just get the miracle he needs to not be named Canada's worst driver ever I'm confused In this episode of Canada's Worst Driver Ever. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The three finalists did a basic forwards and backwards challenge. It takes a ferocious amount of concentration. Oh, crap! Did you leave that in gear? Oh. They endured our annual mega challenge. Oh, crap! And are you really turning left from the middle lane? I endured them driving me on the public streets of Hamilton. Ah, crud. I spotted the red light. I was already turning. Throughout rehab this season, Kevin has been saying that if he's named Canada's worst driver ever... There's a guy there. You're not in the left turn lane. He will hang up his keys and never drive again. Now, there's a rumor going around the rehab center that Kevin intends to keep on driving no matter what. And now that he's in front of the people who will name Canada's worst driver ever, he's being kind of shifty. If you're named Canada's worst driver ever, the keys go back on the hook and they never go into the ignition again, right? Yes. That's still your promise? Yes. 
That's a promise Lenny needs to re-hear. How you doing, Lenny? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. The latest round of rehab center gossip says that Kevin's gonna keep on driving with your blessing. Is that correct? That is totally correct. Just before you came in, he said he was going to quit driving if he was named Canada's worst driver ever. So I'm just wondering what the actual truth is. What are you deciding? The actual truth is I... When I go home, I will not be driving. I will be taking driver training. I will be taking driver training means you will be driving. You promised us that you would stop driving forever, not five minutes ago. Why would you say one thing to the panel and not the same thing? That, that, that's disconcerting. Because they, they blindsided me with it. You need to be truthful and honest, both to yourself and everybody else, Kevin. The honest truth is, Kevin should never again drive in public. There's a guy, there, you're not in the left turn lane. And he promised he wouldn't if our experts told him not to. This is what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> um, you, you need to stop driving. Michael doesn't think he's Canada's worst driver ever. Sly, though, believes he should take the unwanted title. It's a hard thing to admit. I'm really st struggling, but you know, with what we've got here, the three who are left, I am the worst of them. It's time for me and the experts to decide who is Canada's worst driver ever. Last chance to dance. Who is it? Chandler? I'm gonna say Dale. Dale? Dale's not even here anymore. Last episode, Dale accidentally caught her finger, taking her out of the driver's seat and out of contention for our title. Just because she sort of sneaked out of being in the final three doesn't mean that she's not in the running. Super interesting. Philippe. Uh... Philippe also thinks it's Dale. She's the worst driver ever. I truly did not see this coming. Cam, this is more interesting than I imagined, Cam. They're close, but I'm going with Kevin. Come on, Cam. You're going to tell me that Kevin is worse than Dale? Who wiped out big time in the offseason? Kevin is willing to change. He has changed since last year. And I think Dale is equally as bad. The only difference is she doesn't see it. Okay, I'm just gonna be the beacon of common sense here. Are you people bananas? <laughs> Kevin is Canada's worst driver ever, ever. Doesn't know what lane he's in. Cuts people off without knowing. Blind in one eye, God love him. I feel bad for that, but he could turn his head and see what's coming once in a while. It might just help him. He doesn't know how to drive. Throughout this heated debate, there's one person who hasn't said a word. You, I'm looking at you. What we're here to do is name Canada's worst driver ever. So, Tim, name that person. What are you doing back here? You guys are back? I thought you'd be long gone by now. I'm confused. Whew! Wackadoo, wackadoo. My brain hurts a lot. Uh, try to stay with me on this because this might be a little bit hard to follow. Let's just start with the obvious, shall we? Michael, you're not Canada's worst driver ever. Thank you. Congratulations to you. I have everybody's license, but yours I will hand back to you. Michael may not be Canada's worst driver ever. But saying you're not the lousiest motorist in the entire country right. is hardly bragging rights. 
I am completely wedged. Here's to hoping that Michael never crashes again. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Mwah! See you guys. And then there were three. Sly? Yeah? You were also not Canada's worst driver ever. Oh. Wow. So, I'm gonna give you back your driver's license, and uh, I'm gonna ask Fred to drive you home. Fred still thinks Sly is Canada's worst driver ever. And who could blame him? Oh. This year at the rehab center, Sly failed more challenges than anyone else. Oh, freak! And without a doubt, Sly is the worst reverser the country has ever known. Well, how did that happen? If you see Sly on the road with a sandwich in his face, or a big drink in his mitt, please contact us, and we will gladly send him a duplicate trophy as Canada's worst driver ever. Sly, stay in that passenger seat, buddy. It's where you belong, unfortunately. Stay in that passenger seat. And then there were two. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No. Canada's worst driver ever is... Kevin. Dale is hell on wheels. And after Dale admitted last episode to losing total focus for periods of time while driving, Cam Woolley thinks the Ministry of Transport will review Dale's license. Something happened to my mind for a few seconds. But those few seconds... Could mean a life. Oh, you betcha. See you, Dale. Kevin, you, sir, are Canada's worst driver ever. And with that uh, ugly title goes this beautiful award. I'm not touching it. There you go. Throughout rehab this year, oh. Kevin repeatedly made me the same simple promise. If I am named Canada's worst driver ever, I am to turn in my license permanently and sell my car. And throughout the entire season, Kevin has been dangerously delusional. I'd call this a pass. But it was during his public drive in Hamilton. You're turning what? That one-eyed Kevin looked like a man capable of causing death. Whoa! You're in the oncoming traffic lane, dude. We're done. You pull over and stop wherever you can. It's time for Kevin to man up and honor his promise. I got a road flare here. Maybe we should just burn your license right now. Maybe you shouldn't. Why not? I thought you were going to... Because that's for me to do, not you. You want to do it? No, no. I'm not destroying my license and neither are you. Don't even think about doing it. But this is the real deal. This is your actual I'm license. I'm not burning my license. Kevin, do it. If you're true to your word, you will do it. Fine. I want you to understand, buddy, it's all about safety, okay? We're just trying to keep you safe. Mm hmm I know. 
There he goes. Kevin from Burnaby, BC. Canada's worst driver ever. Since being named Canada's worst driver ever, Kevin hasn't driven once. But he has acquired a new car. Holy fart knockers.